having a hard time hunting behemoths, choosing the best and comfortable weapon. How about picking the best armor and cells, and other things you need to know. That will help you making progress. Well, you're in good hands. In today's video, we're going to talk about Dauntless. Simple quick guide and tips for beginners and new players. So without further ado, let's get started. Disclaimer, this video is based on my gaming experience. I just wanted to share the knowledge that I've learned in this game. Thank you. Every weapon has their own unique style when it comes to hunting. So the first thing you need to do is explore and try all of the weapons for you to find out what weapons is comfortable to use. Once you pick your main weapon, learn and master the moves, combos and specials in the training grounds. Keep practicing and hone your skills until you're getting familiar with the weapon. Don't rush yourself to be a pro player. This will make you a better player, so you can defeat any behemoths you like. I hope this helps you to choose your main weapon. Let me know in the comments section. This is one of the important things for beginners and new players to know. The armor and cell perks. I prefer sustain build. Since you're just starting to play this game, the armor and cells that you will use. Supposed to have an attack and defense. For attack you need tenacious, pulse, cunning, predator and more. And for defense is tough, fortress, parasitic and more as an example. This is only my recommended cell perks, but you can do whatever you want for your own build, as long as you're comfortable with it. If you're confident with your hunting skills, you can go with the solo hunt, but this is a friendly advice. It's better to hunt with other players, so you can defeat behemoths easily. For you to level up and get the materials you want for your build, you should learn the behemoth's attack moves when you're hunting, so you can do dodges like this. And interrupting behemoths like this, So you can have more opening attacks, and defeat them not even breaking a sweat. Slayer's Path is where you have to unlock and upgrade everything here so you can get stronger. You can explore, familiarize and learn how the Slayer's Path works. But as a beginner and new player, these are the ones you should unlock first. Weapon smithing is for weapon crafting, where you can find these three people. Wills Borman is for axe, sword, chain blades, war pike, and hammer crafting. I can give you one moment. Admiral's Eye is for repeaters and grenade crafting. The Scarred Master is for other strikers crafting. Next is armor crafting, where you can craft your armor from head to toe. Also, you can unlock upgrades to improve your durability, toughness, and stamina. The next one is Lantern Crafting. Good to see you. Arkan Drew is for Lantern Crafting, where you can use in combat to defeat behemoths, the Middleman, and the Omnicell Crafting. The Middleman is for cell fusion to upgrade your cells, and also for Omnicell Crafting. On the cell can increase your combat effectiveness because of its passive and an activated ability. And now you can proceed to upgrades and unlock all, like mods of the weapon, special skills of the weapon, unlock other maps to fight a new and stronger behemoths. You should check more often. Keep unlocking and upgrading your slayer's path until you make it to the end so you can upgrade all of your weapon much stronger at its finest.
you can level up your weapons by doing bounties. As you can see, once you've done the task, you can earn weapon XP so you can level up your weapon much faster. You can get a daily bounty tokens by throwing a penny on this fountain. Now you can use it for bounties. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, comment and suggestions for my next video and please don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video guys. Peace out.